hi guys today's video will be on how to achieve this bronze design canadian smoking sleeve if you really love smoking sleeve try this one so guys we are using three two yards of dolphins sorry two yards of dolphins for this sleeve and we are dividing the two yards into two one yard for one sleeve and one yard for the other sleeve so you're multiplying your round arm hole by three yes your round arm hole by three so mine my round arm hole is 18 so i'm using 54 18 divided by 18 multiplied by 3 gives me 54 so i'm using 54 inches as the width that's how wide it will be 54 inches and the the length i'm using the exact door face length for it since it's a balloon sleeve and i'm using an elastic at the m side so it will bounce up so i'm using 54 as my round sleeve so you multiply your round sleeve by three so i'll be marking my 54 to the top as the width of my sleeve i'll be marking the 54 up I'm looking for the I'm, I'm just taking the points where it's where 54 stops so I'll mark it accurately to the top. Yeah. So I'll connect the lines with my rule. I'll connect it straight to the top with my rule. Yeah, this is this my rule on a straight line? The line will be straight, so I'm connecting it to the top. Okay, yeah, connected it to the top. Then my rule, this is my rule is two inches the is two inches wide my rule yeah it's two inches wide so my box i'm doing a two inch box so i'll just use it to connect to roll the line since it's a two inches rule so i'll just roll the line but if you're doing a smaller one like if you want a fitted sleeve you do one inch for me i'm doing two inches because it's a balloon sleeve but if you're doing making a sleeve that is fitted they want it to be fitted you do you make yours to be one inch so mine is two inches i'll i'll i'm taking the lines i'll rule it all through then connect it back to be to in the form of a box so from here I finished rolling the line straight so I'm going to cross the line to give me that box shape I'm crossing the lines this is what I will do all through to to get those that box shape Since, like I said my rule is two inches so the box is there two inches if you want the fitted sleeve you make yours to be one inch Yeah, continue like this till you 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 continue like this till you finish connecting the lines so please you can try this on a piece of paper like on a paper on a book before you tr you translate it on your fabric please try it on a paper first to know the pattern you're using before you start drafting on your sleeve on your material so as you can see we're almost done with the lines with the box shape so that this is how it will look like 
we almost done and yeah we are done this is outcome this is how the finish we almost done yes this is how it will look like the box two two inches this is how it will look like when you're done so we did for the whole a yard like for one sleeve we divided the sleeve into two the the door face the two yards of door face divided into two which is giving us one yard for one sleeve and one yard for the other sleeve so we are doing this for the both sleeves so right now we we'll move to the next stage now for this you're leaving this whole column this whole the first row you're leaving everything and the row you're leaving them the first one the first column you're leaving everything and moving to the next one you move to the next line like the second line the second box in the second line yes that's what, where you start from so we are starting from this box to rule your lines after this you skip the next one and move to the next one you skip the second one the third line the third box and move to the fourth box this is what you do you skip when you skip the next one you move to the next one this is how you do to achieve it hope we get it when you when you you leave the first boss move to the second boss and rule your line then you're leaving the third box and moving to the fourth one to rule your line like that that it will be because of the joining those space which is for the joining and closing of our sleeves then as you're moving the second to the last boss that is where you're really now you're leaving the last boss because of the elastic that you're so you're passing through and then you're leaving the whole second line you're leaving it the second um box in the, the lines you're leaving everything and moving to the next one so this is how it will look like i hope you will get it we understand what we are doing you're leaving the next one i'm moving to the next one i think it's clearer now and this is how it looks it, it looks when you're done i finished marking this is how it's supposed to be when you're done for this particular board shape this is how it's supposed to be so next we'll put we'll take our needle and thread we're using our, using our needle and, and thread to tag them so we'll be tagging those lines just exactly like this we are taking the, the lines that we just ruled taking we are taking this other one to meet the other edge and we are sewing to tie them together just like this we tie them together making sure it's properly tied so as you can see i passed only one like the thread just two thread i didn't double the thread because when you double it the yeah, the thread will be, it will look very big there so i like it very simple so it's hard for you to see the seam like the sewing you that for you to see it so this way after tagging it tie it like this very strong so it won't lose and tie mine two times so it won't lose this i tie it very strong before cutting it out
this so far this is what we've done this is what we've done so far and it's coming out very nice and neat yes this is the outside look yeah that's how it will look it's coming out so nice and fine because it's a two inches that's what a two inches box that's why it's looking big but if it is one inch it will look smaller than this so this is perfect for a balloon sleeve we are almost done with it so yeah we are done this is the finished look of the, that's the back and yeah this is it we are done with the first sleeve with this first sleeve and we do repeat the same for the next sleeve so guys do not forget to subscribe on our channel and drop your questions on the comment section thank you bye